हाई एवरीवान दिस इज ऑमेज वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो इन माई चैनल आज के इस वीडियो में हम बात करेंगे टॉप सेवन कंपनीज के बारे में विथ विच यू कैन टेक परमानेंट इंटरनेशनल ट्रांसफर एनीवेयर इन द वर्ल्ड नॉट ओनली दिस विल ऑल्सो टेक अ लुक एट देयर ऑफिस अक्रॉस द ग्लोब सो इफ यू आर समन हु वॉन्ट्स टू नो कि ये प्रोसेस आखिर होता कैसे है वॉन्ट्स टू नो दी एग्जैक्ट डिटेल्स ऑफ दीज प्रोसेस as well as the level of difficulty in doing so in these companies then you have come to the right video stick around till the end of the video to also get a look at all these offices so without further ado let's get started So first things first, let me just clear out that in this particular video we are talking about permanent international transfer. We are not talking about project based transfer. जहाँ पे आप एक project complete करने के लिए कुछ time के लिए बाहर जाते हो और फिर वापस आ जाते हो, जो कि typically एक service based company में on site opportunity जिसको बोलते हैं. We are not talking about that. We are talking about complete permanent change of teams, complete permanent transfer itself from one country to another country. जहां पे आप टीम चेंज करके दूसरे कंट्री में जाते हो काम करने के लिए एंड ऑब्वियसली नीडलेस टू से ऑल द कंपनीज दैट आर प्रेजेंट इन दिस लिस्ट विल डेफिनेटली स्पॉन्सर योर वीजा तो आपको पैसे खर्च करने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी हाउ एवर देर आर सर्टेन रूल सर्टेन रेस्ट्रिक्शन इन ईच ऑफ दीज कंपनीज फॉर बींग एलिजिबल फॉर द ट्रांसफर सो लेट्स जस्ट जम्प राइट इन द लिस्ट नंबर सेवन इज सेल्स फोर्स सेल्स फोर्स जैसा कि मोस्ट ऑफ यू मस्ट हैव सीन In my previous video of top 10 companies to work in India with best work-life balance, it is definitely one of the better-paying companies in India with great work-life balance and work culture. And the same work-life balance and work culture is also present in its US offices. In Salesforce, there is a concept of opportunity open market, which is also known as OOM, which basically opens three times in one particular year, which gives you an opportunity to change teams inside Salesforce. However, one point to note is कि ये जो change teams होगा वो एक country के अंदर ही हो सकता है Although you can change cities and change teams and change organizations and what not, but आप इससे international transfer नहीं ले सकते हो For being eligible to be considered for international transfer at Salesforce, you would have to spend at least one year in that particular role in that particular team. After you have spent one year in one particular role and one particular team, is when you become eligible for international transfer. However, for any transfer, be it international or domestic, you would have to give more or less a couple of informal interviews in order to start the process. Definitely, Salesforce will sponsor you a visa for your internal transfer, or more generally, a L1 visa. All the companies that I have talked about in this particular list will sponsor your L1 visa. यूएस में वॉशिंगटन टेक्सस कैलिफोर्निया शिकागो अर्जेंटीना कैनेडा इन सब जगह पे सेल्सफोर्स के टेक्स सेंटर्स है फ्रो वेयर यू कैन डेफिनेटली टेक अ ट्रांसफर हाउ एवर वन थिंग टू नोट इज इज दैट द कॉम्पनसेशन ऑफर्ड इन यूएस फॉर सेल्सफोर्स इज रिलेटिवली लेसर इन कंपेरिजन टू इट्स पियर्स इन द लिस्ट नॉट ओनली दिस ऑल दो देर इज अ प्रोसेस विथ विच यू कैन ट्रांसफर इंटरनली टू डिफरेंट लोकेशन इन द वर्ल्ड Salesforce में it is still relatively difficult because the number of job openings are less and the number of people applying for international transfers is quite high. Hence, I have ranked it number seventh in the list. Number six is Atlassian. Now, uh, the only reason for me to rank Atlassian on top of Salesforce is that the number of international transfers that can happen in Atlassian is relatively more than what we see in Salesforce. Primarily because Atlassian का जो headquarter है that is located in Sydney and Sydney में visa laws बहुत relaxed है in comparison to that of USA because of which there is a good amount of people who can transfer internally to Sydney in case of Atlassian. Now what are the rules for transfer in Atlassian? Just like any other company, you have to spend one year in the particular role at which you were hired in Atlassian. on top of that if you have to internally transfer to sydney then your level should be p5 which is basically a senior software development engineer at atlassian which is more or less equivalent to an sde3 role elsewhere if you have to internally transfer from india to us 
then you would have to be a P6 employee at Atlassian, which is equivalent to a principal software development engineer there. Needless to say, to become a P6 employee at Atlassian is very, very difficult. Generally, low P5 to promote ho jate hai. P5 to P6 promotion is almost not possible at Atlassian. It is extremely rare and difficult. Hence, Atlassian se US pe transfer kafi kam hota hai. Correspondingly, Atlassian se Sydney me transfer generally hota hai, but it does require you to be a senior software development engineer at Atlassian, which is also not that easy. Hence, ranking it at number six. Number five is Uber. Uber is definitely one of the higher paying companies in the world. However, the work-life balance at Uber is not so good. Apart from it, a huge portion of your compensation is stocks. And I must say, the stocks that are offered to you by Uber forms a sizable portion of your income and it is not at all doing good in the stock market. So that can be one thing that you might consider while moving to Uber. Now up Uber went to Agayo. Now, how easy it is to change teams inside Uber. In Uber, changing teams is relatively streamlined. You can do that if you have spent one year at least in your team in which you were hired. And then you can definitely change teams. All you have to do is contact a hiring manager who is recruiting engineers into their team, talk with them and change teams. Generally, many a times you will see that Team change karne ke liye bhi, you do not have to give any interviews. However, there are certain cases where you might be required to give some interviews. So it all depends upon from one hiring manager to another. However, there are some restrictions if you want to change teams internationally and permanently relocate to anywhere in the world. Here in India, you would have to be an SDE2 as well as you would have to spend at least two years as an SDE2 inside Uber to be eligible for international transfer. You can transfer to San Francisco, Bay Area, as well as Amsterdam, where Uber has major tech development centers in the world. The only reason for me to rank it at number five is the restrictions that it has in order to transfer teams internationally, as well as questionable work-life balance. Number four is LinkedIn. If you have seen my previous video, dekha hoga, then you must know that LinkedIn I have ranked LinkedIn as number one in terms of work-life balance in India and it is safe to say same thing, same theory is also applicable across the world for LinkedIn. LinkedIn is definitely known for its work-life balance, amazing employee benefits and great culture that it has. Now to transfer teams inside LinkedIn, it is the policies are very, very, very much similar to that of Uber, which means if you want to transfer teams inside India, that is domestically, you would have to spend at least one year inside LinkedIn and then you will be eligible for domestic transfer of teams and to be eligible for international transfer of teams, you would have to be an SDE2, which is senior software engineer inside LinkedIn and you would have to spend at least two years at that particular position. You can transfer to US, Dublin and Beijing from India where there are major tech centers for LinkedIn. Definitely, there are other offices across the world. If you are someone who is not from tech, you can also definitely transfer to those offices and the same rules and regulations apply for you as well. And the only reason not ranking it much higher is there is still some friction for people to transfer internationally from LinkedIn India to outside. As simple as that. Thank you guys for breaking the like target of previous video. The like target for this video is 1.5,000 likes. So go ahead and smash the like button as much as possible. Share it among your friends and peers and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I have many such videos planned for you guys. Now comment down below what are the top three companies that you think have the best international relocation policies in India. Let's see who gets it right. Today's video is sponsored by An Academy and we have a small message from them. For a budding techie, then An Academy has an amazing platform that they have brought to you guys. It is known as an Academy Plus, which will host a ton of content regarding software engineering, regarding cracking good product-based companies, regarding doing better at competitive programming, regarding being a better software engineer. And all of this at just a price of $9.99 in one whole year. And you can get a 10% discount by using my coupon code SOMGADGET01.
I am hosting a tech talk show every Friday at 9 p.m. There I bring in engineering leaders from different top tech companies that are out there and we have a great conversation regarding their journey, regarding the tech that they use in their company, regarding their teams and what are their expectations. I have brought engineering managers from Uber, senior software engineers from Microsoft, staff software engineers and architects from LinkedIn. This Friday at 9 p.m. we have Mr. Vikas Ranjan who is at SDE3 at Zomato. He will be coming live with me at Tech Talks with Somyajit. I will give the link to register for the session in the description below. There is a coupon code SOMYAJIT01 that will get you 10% off. Go ahead and avail the discount and see you guys there. And now the time of big reveal. Number three is Microsoft. So Microsoft is one of those companies in India which has very relaxed international transfer policies in the country right now. Here, for being eligible to get transferred to any location across the world, be it in Canada, be it in USA, be it in Tokyo, anywhere for that matter, right? you would have to spend at least one year at L62 level in Microsoft. If you do not have much idea about how everything works in Microsoft, then go ahead and watch my Microsoft company review video where I have explained in detail their unique leveling structure along with their salary breakdown. Long story short, L62 is basically second band of SDE2 level. There are a huge number of job opportunities that are present across the world in Microsoft. The process is fairly similar like most of the other companies that are out there. You would have to find a hiring manager who is hiring for candidates in their particular team, set up an informal chat, discuss the role and then set up a two to three rounds of informal interviews. Yes, in Microsoft, you are, if you have to change teams, you would have to re-interview again. The one thing to note is that the compensation offered by Microsoft in US is considerably lower than that of its peer companies. Because of which, even if you transfer to US, your net compensation increase will be lesser by quite a significant margin than that of the other companies in the list. Number two is Google. Google has probably one of the most lenient team transfer policy among all the companies that are present in this particular list. All you have to do is spend one year in the role that you are hired and then you become eligible for an internal transfer anywhere across the world. As well as for doing that internal transfer, the process is very simpler than the other companies that are present in the list. You do not require to go through another set of interviews if you want to transfer from one team to another at a different location at a different country in Google. All you need to do is find a hiring manager who is hiring for their team and have a discussion with them, see whether or not you are fit for the role and get a transfer. One point to note, why I have not ranked it at number one is that the competition for internal transfer at Google is extremely high because the number of roles that are open, which takes in candidate to transfer in a different country is very low in Google with respect to the number of people who are applying for that role. I am sure by now you must have guessed this company. It is Amazon. Amazon has the most streamlined international transfer policy among any company in India. All you have to do is spend one year as an SDE2 inside Amazon and you are automatically eligible for international transfer across any location in the world. You may choose to go to Middle East, you may choose to go to Europe, you may choose to go to Singapore, you may choose to go to Japan, USA, Canada, South America, anywhere. And Amazon has a significant tech center in most of these continents and many of the countries in these continents. Now, why I have ranked Amazon as number one is purely because of the number of opportunities that are present, which are open for international transfer is huge. Definitely Amazon is the easiest company with which you can transfer to any country in the world. Process is fairly similar to the other companies that are present. You have to find out a hiring manager who is hiring for the team, which uh, by the way, if you have not noticed the career portals at amazon.com, it is all through the year. And you have to set up an informal chat with that particular hiring manager and maybe go through one or two informal interview rounds. Now, if I take the example of US, in US, there is a concept of premium location and non-premium location inside Amazon. New York and San Francisco Bay Area are premium location. 
रेस्ट ऑफ द यूएस इज नॉन प्रीमियम लोकेशन अब इसका मतलब क्या है इसका मतलब कुछ नहीं है इसका मतलब यह है कि न्यूयॉर्क और सैन फ्रांसिस्को में कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग बहुत ज्यादा है मतलब बहुत खर्चा करना पड़ता है वहां पे स्टे करने के लिए बिकॉज ऑफ विच द कॉम्पनसेशन ऑफर्ड फॉर कैंडिडेट्स हु गो टू न्यूयॉर्क एंड सैन फ्रांसिस्को इज रिलेटिवली हायर देन दॉम्पनसेशन दट इज ऑफर्ड फॉर द कैंडिडेट्स हु गो टू अदर पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री वेन एवर इन एमेजॉन फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर ट्रांसफरिंग From India to US, then you will get an increase in your base pay. Obviously, because you are transferring to US, and that's a significant increase in your base pay. Then you get additional joining bonus every month. You get additional stocks on top of the joining bonus stock that you already have in India. My college seniors, my college batchmates, like each and every one of them who was working in Amazon has now moved to Seattle. Hence, I can say with utmost clarity that it is. the number one company where an employee can do a permanent transfer internationally with ease i really hope that you like the video if you did then smash that like button like target is 1.5000 likes subscribe to the channel if you have not already and share the video uh, with as many people as possible or uh, definitely comment down below what more different videos you would want me to make in this particular series as well as in any other series this is somajit bidding goodbye dasdanya